Fertilization in plants is much more complex than in animals. We will first review the terms haploid and diploid we learned in the previous chapters. A haploid cell has one set of chromosomes and a diploid cell has two sets, one from each parent. Haploid cells are formed by meiosis from a diploid cell. A diploid cell is formed from two haploid cells that fuse in fertilization. Both cell types can also form by mitotic division that conserves the haploidy. A diploid cell that undergoes mitosis gives rise to two diploid cells and a haploid cell gives rise to two haploid cells. Let us focus now on flowers. We will start with a female ovule. The diploid cell that will give rise to the egg undergoes meiosis that results in four haploid cells. Subsequently, each of the four cells divides mitotically into two cells. We have now eight haploid cells. One will become the egg that will form the embryo after it will be fertilized. The two cells in the middle will fuse and form one big cell with two nuclei that are called the polar nuclei. The endosperm, the tissue that will feed the embryo, will eventually develop from this cell. Before talking about fertilization, let us describe the male part. Meiosis that gives rise to four haploid cells is here too the first stage. Each of these four cells will develop into a pollen grain. In the next stage, the haploid cell and the pollen grain will divide mitotically into two cells, the generative cell and the vegetative cell. Once the pollen grain has landed on the stigma, the vegetative cell will grow the pollen tube. This tube grows through the style and reaches the ovule. The generative cell undergoes a second mitotic division, so that when the pollen tube reaches the ovule, it contains three cells, the vegetative cell that does not take part in fertilization and two generative cells. One of these cells will fuse with the egg and fertilize it, giving rise to a diploid cell from which the embryo will develop. The second generative cell will fuse with the cell that will give rise to the endosperm. As this cell is already diploid, it will now be triploid, having three sets of chromosomes. This double fertilization of the egg cell and the endosperm cell will trigger the development of the seed. The seed germinates and the new plant grows.